we are making a book. So let me show you the one I made before. And it's, I have um, the gold corners, the metal. I find that it, it brings the journal, you know, more, how can I say, sturdiness or not sturdy, um, that it won't get damaged as quickly. And this journal was made with the kettle stitch. And I will link this video. If I can, you should technically be able to click on it. It's going to be maybe on top of the screen somewhere in the video. Um, I'll try maybe towards the end. Um, that way, if you want to know how to do this um, kettle stitch, you'll have the video. I've had a lot of good compliments on it that everybody says, oh my goodness, it's super clear. I've seen other videos and I felt discouraged. Yours made me want to do it. Literally, I, I'm really serious. Go see the comments. So I, I really invite you to go see it if you want to learn because it seems I did good. <laughs> but today we're not going to teach you how to do the kettle stitch. In fact, as soon as I'm done this, this little intro and showing you what we're going to do today, uh, the first part of the video, uh, you will see me quickly showing you really quickly the first steps of how I make these pages how I make all the holes um, and how I start sewing, but that's it. You won't get great details on how to do the exact, you know, stitching, but it will give you an idea. And, um, and there will be also um, time marks all over my video. So as, as right now, if you're on a TV remote, um, you can see probably the time marks same thing uh, on your phone or computer so if you want to jump ahead when we start this book go right ahead if you want to see this book there we go so we are opening this book as you can see so it's made made just like a real book and this is a watercolor uh, papers that I've I've sewn in I decided to use that because I want this to be a watercolor uh, mini journal and as you can see the kettle stitch is just it does just like real books see so it's really really awesome to make books with this kind of stitching so if you want to learn the stitching um, just go see the video and today we're going to make a book this book was covered in paper at first I regretted it because I, it is for watercolor watercolor means of course water and I was a little worried but I covered it with um, medium um, glossy medium and frankly it works I just sprayed some water and it won't go inside the page of course you don't do it on purpose <laughs> like I did but um, just to say that it won't damage your journal then you can just wipe it so I might cover this one with paper I'm not sure we'll discover as I go but it works really well my paper is not getting wet okay so if you want to go ahead with paper just make sure you have a ceiling medium and uh, I put some fabric here because I was a little worried that the paper would rip because it is paper and it is a book that we open and close and open and close especially when we lay it flat to paint I didn't want to, the paper to rip so I decided to cover it with fabric so I'll see what I do with this one
So let's proceed to the making of the next one. So I already sewn in my pages. I really did a good job, even better than the first time, because look at this. <laughs> I made the stitching so, you know, solid. <laughs> That's actually nice, you know, you could almost do this and, and you know, um, paint in it. And once you're done all the pages, you leave it like that and people can look at all your paintings <laughs> but no today we're going to do a book with it so personally I had watercolor paper I'm going to show you which one um, because I tested it I mean it's not my fabulous you know the, the beautiful perfect really awesome high quality paper um, it's not cotton I don't think I'm not sure what this one is actually probably a mixture um, but it is you know the 300 gram and uh, it is cold press which is what I usually work on and it does work well well it's just not as high quality as my other papers that I have so that's what I used and this time I used lighter colored um, thread I didn't have white I had this kind of beige but it's okay I like it it's kind of discreet it's not as dark as the other one I had used which was brown so these pages are 9 inches by 12 so what I've done is with my paper trimmer I cut um, every three uh, every three inches for the length of 12 so it gave me four right and then I cut the the side where it's nine inches into half so four and a half to make nine and then each four and a half so this is a four and a half I folded at two and a quarter okay so I had four strips of three inches because it is 12 inches long and then I each strip was also nine inches wide and I cut those four and a half inches which is this length and this length I made a line to um, to fold it at two and a quarter so when you close it this is two and a quarter right two and a quarter by three so this mini book this one was a lot bigger as you can see but I'm so in love with it I decided to go even smaller so this book is three by two and a quarter okay so next step is I'm choosing this cardboard it's not as thick and not as solid as the other one I had used this one was really really hard this one is a lot more malleable I think is the word a lot softer um, it's still going to be rigid enough and hard enough for the book and I'm thinking this time I might I might I'm not sure yet but if I have enough of it I'm thinking maybe a fabric cover but I will also maybe add some paper on top or I might still go with the paper because I really think it's lovely so what you have to do then is so my pages like I said are four and a half so I went ahead and I cut at about five and three quarters I know that I went a lot longer than the four and a half because four and a half is just the measure of this it does not account for this part and whatever tiny little bit you want to see hanging off of your book so once I put it in here and of course I went a little over the three inches just so I have a tiny bit see here I have a tiny bit here a tiny bit there I like it and then if I try and see if this will wrap around and cover my whole 
uh, book. Let me just hold on. Let me just do this properly. Okay. So let's see if it wraps around nicely. I didn't make any fold lines yet, but I will. And it does. I don't know if you can see. There's a tiny bit of space here and a tiny bit of space there. It's actually quite perfect this way. I like it. I could even trim maybe a tiny bit of the, the height. So I will do that. Okay, well, I love the first book so much and I saw this butterfly and I just couldn't resist. So I decided to go again with paper. <laughs> I just I just really couldn't resist I can't resist the butterfly I just want to see if it's going to even be somewhat on uh, maybe if I glue things like that let me see yeah at least enough that we will we will know that it's a butterfly I just love it so much okay so I think I'll go with that there okay let me see oh look at that that's gonna be so pretty i mean the fabric will hide but we won't put too too much oh i love it oh yes 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 yeah i think this the other one was scaring me i think because the back well the whole cardboard situation was so so strong and and the fold here was so like edgy I don't know how to say it but I could feel the paper wanted to rip and it was worrying me but this I don't think it will I might just leave it like that we'll see okay I will show you the next part so next what you want to do so I got myself a an old piece of watercolor paper because it's quite sturdy and all I've done the next step is I put it right here and as you can see I made oops sorry you can't see that at all I made a line right there and I made another one on the other side and now I'm just going to fold it like so I'm gonna use my like this and another one right here There. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And now what we want to do is we want to sit this in here. Like so. And we're going to glue here and here. But we won't glue. We would not we will not put glue on this or on this. We don't want that. Okay? 
So we're going to put glue right here. The glue will come out. There you go. Just like that. And actually, I could put glue right right away on the other side. Why not? Okay, and now we are going to put our pages in. Oops, I had some glue on my fingers here. Let me just clean that off. I don't want to glue our pages. Okay, so now we will go and sit the book right here, just like that. And we're going to glue on each side, like so. Okay just like that and now we have to wait for it to dry I just put these while I wait to let it dry in the meantime however you can choose your inside paper so what you're going to use to cover this and it has to be two lengths of this length okay so you will cut twice two two pieces but not quite the length of the book more so the length of these the, so these were three inches tall by um two and a quarter so it has to be three inches tall by four and a half okay so Two pieces of paper like that if you're taking my measurements but you'll see when I glue the pages on this where I'm going with this so we can prep the paper in the meantime okay so for me I'm measuring four and a half where's my half okay measuring four and a half and it is three inches for the height so my three inches is right here goodness that was almost another piece done but not quite so that's my first piece and it will be folded but I will fold it in the book itself so I'm gonna repeat this operation so I will take another piece of four and a half because when my pages are open they're four and a half there we go, whoops, by three inches for the height. And there we go. So now we have both. Okay, so now we have our two pieces and we have this. And this must be glued on now, I'm sure yes it is perfect now there's one more step that will require us see that's what we want there is one more step that will require patience that's that's sad but it has to be done before we glue these two pieces and then pretty much finish our journal except for you know the addition of the cuteness and maybe fabric and the word journal or something right and that step is crucial <laughs> and it's to glue this back onto this back right here so I will just make sure that this is all nice and crisp yeah okay and that's the part that will require uh, some waiting time you have no choice it must be done and it has to be very well Oh, my glue is seeping through there for some reason. That is a part that you cannot skip. Or 
not skip that's not what I meant that you cannot just say oh it's glued enough it's dried enough no you really need to try and be patient and wait till it is really really well glued and yeah so here try and be mindful that you don't want the glue to seep through out here or the bottom again I don't know if you can see maybe not um, the bottom and the top and then seep on your pages here because then you'll have pages that are stuck so you can wipe the excess if you will just like that and spread the glue with your fingers always a good tool and now we are ready to put it in the middle make sure you have the same distance you know on top and bottom and then I will simply you need to really press down but it's not easy because it's so small like it's difficult to find something to put there uh, however if you want that's what I did the last time because you can because there's a gap I went like that and I pressed you know everywhere I could even with your finger like that make sure that the paper is pressed down really well there and then it's really just a question of waiting so I'm going to clamp everything down like that and just going to make sure my pages are really pressing down on this like that see I don't know if you can see that's how it's going to to look so we're gonna wait till it's dry and I'll come back for the last step okay so it's dried and now we are ready for the last step ah this is so exciting this is where we decorate and we finish the inside and then decorate and it's all a lot of fun so you will take the pieces of paper that you chose for your inside so I had I'm gonna put the thing I had underneath just to have something to press on or up against whatever you want. okay and so this will be glued the first part will be glued just like that and we had measured and cut so that we knew everything was fitting perfectly so I just want to actually I'm just going to so what I'm doing is I'm pressing with my nail as I'm bending the page just to make sure that this will be straight yeah that looks pretty good I don't know when I fold it it seems that it's longer hold on and it is a possibility but what I'm going to do is let me see here I want to make sure before I cut into anything because once everything is glued and everything is open see when it's open like that it is not too long it doesn't come out of the the book so I will not cut it because it means that if I did cut it then no it wouldn't work so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this first side right here and then I'll glue the rest that way we make sure that we're not cutting paper and that everything is actually fitting so that's why it's important to put the page move it around do your crease with your fingernail and and I'll open the book close it make sure right oh my goodness my glue is stuck I changed the nozzle I think you call it wasn't stuck I I did manage to make it work but it was just a, a very slow flow it was a little too slow so I changed it okay so now I'm going to use again a paper because I put a lot of glue and I want to press down with the bone uh, bone folder so I want to make sure it doesn't seep out so I will put my piece of paper because it's liquid glue and not like uh, a glue stick or something like that 
Um, I can wiggle the page around, make sure, you know, that everything is aligned. See how the glue coming out as I'm pressing down? So that's why I put the piece of paper there so I don't have glue on my other pages. There. That is really nice. I love it. Yes. Okay. Now I will glue the rest of it. I could put just glue here, actually. It's the same. It's the same. There we go. Oh, I love it. It's so nice. Look at this. See? Just like a real book. <laughs> it's awesome. I love it. I will treat my paper with the same um, medium gloss like I did the other journal because I do want to protect it and oh my goodness I can't wait to paint in it it's just so adorable oh it's so adorable it's so tiny I love it okay let's do the other side <laughs> oh, look at the beautiful book we made. Ah, oh, that is adorable. Love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, so now all that I have left to do is, you know, if I want to add something on the front, like some sort of decoration. I think I was off camera here. I'm sorry. Um... Yeah, all we need to do now is decorate the front and put the metallic corners and we're done. But that's how you make a book. Easy peasy. So if you want to stick around, I will now put the metallic corners. Actually, first I think I should put the medium. So I'll go get it. Okay, so I've got the gloss medium. So I can just pour it here, just like that. I will put it everywhere, top and inside. So I'll come back when all this is dry. I don't think you need to see this boring part. <laughs> okay, so before I put the corners, I also decided to put this lace instead of the fabric here because I honestly don't think this will rip it's a very different kind of uh, cardboard I'm off camera all the time I apologize it's like I'm new to this <laughs> I've never filmed before um yeah I decided to put the, the this lace on top and bottom just like that and then we'll add the corners and I don't know if I can maybe find a little word like journal but something small or something else it doesn't have to be journal it could be an inspiring word something so I will glue this on 
Now these are just the finishing touches, so I'm not sure you need to see the whole process, but if I had thought of this, I think I would have covered, I would have, before I glued this part, I would have sewn this on the there, but I can't now because my machine can't go here and it's, you know, so now I have to glue. That's okay. Now I will just spread the glue, just like that, have a nice thin layer, like that, I was going to put the, the book down but realized there's glue on all sides, <laughs> okay, and I will glue it right here. And just like that. Beautiful. I will just put, I don't know if I can, uh, just to hold it like that while I do the other side, the bottom. I don't want it to move though, hold on. Uh, actually, it's already pretty well glued. Oh my goodness, that was quick. Usually it's difficult, I find, sometimes with certain types of lace. Huh. Okay. Okay, I'm still going to clamp it just because it's still not completely dried. Okay, now we'll go to the other. Perfect. I need a paper to wipe my finger. Okay. And we'll put the other. Oops. And wipe. Oh, I just got an idea, but I don't know if it'll fit. I have these little quotes that are absolutely adorable. Maybe on the inside of the book, though. <gasps> yeah, that could be an idea. I just don't want to completely um, hide the beautiful butterfly. So, and this was not completely dried, so let's be careful about that. Ah, okay. I'm going to leave it this way. I'm going to go get my words. Now... I'm going to put the corners. I found this beautiful tiny little word just like that I think I will put it there I think it's sweet simple just like so right here and I like that it doesn't hide the butterfly and it's small since the journal is also small and I found this from Pablo Picasso art is chaos taking shape 
yes yes it is and I think it would fit perfectly right here just so we remember when we paint in this book or create because this book of course you can do watercolors but because it's watercolor paper any kind of mixed medium will do anything really and while you're creating a lot of times your creation have this ugly phase where you think oh no this is not good I'll, I should start over no keep going keep going it's not over till it's over and even if you don't super like it you have learned while you were doing it and that's okay and it is chaos taking shape every step you make and there you go now we just have to find something to close it found the perfect thing this beautiful beautiful lace and I will go this way it's not long enough to wrap it around and make a knot but I have found something else and it's this beautiful flower clip it's big and I think it I think it's perfect for this and all I will do is clip it this way look at that it's like a little jewel oh my goodness I really hope you like this ah oh. so now we open it look at all the pages I have like 32 pages um, of course this side here and this side here are taken so instead of 64 sides to paint you have 62 sides to paint um, but yeah it's a real little book and now you can paint or you can make a longer one even with the with this in the middle it doesn't matter this is a it's just a practice it's like a sketchbook uh, if you paint because maybe you'll do some art journaling in there uh, with mixed media of all kinds since this is watercolor paper it can resist all kinds of medium and you can have fun with it and there it is it's your own it's a it's really like a mini little oh it's like a little piece of jewelry with that clip I think I'm gonna have to get some more of these <laughs> there it is see and this is the journal and this is the mini actually it's not a journal it's a mini book I called it journal because it will become in an, an art journal um, but yes this is how you make a book so I hope you've enjoyed this um, this tutorial I hope my explanations were clear um, I will put some I will try and put the the, um, the timestamp so if you want to jump over certain you know elements that you don't feel you need to learn about that's okay that's why the, the timestamps are there so as usual I will say I hope you are all happy healthy and safe I give you a great big hug from here Nova Scotia Canada and I hope that you've enjoyed this video and as usual thank you for watching see you soon bye <laughs> bye bye